Kenny Seltzer is a singer-songwriter who has been described as offering candid storytelling with his songs uh, that is accompanied by inspired guitar play, which can offer the listener a stimulating mind-body listening experience. He performs solo, and he has also led bands, uh, which has ranged in number of participants up to six pieces. And he has uh, recently completed a new CD, Don't Forget About Me, uh, that will join rank with three other CDs that he has. Kenny is a Berkeley College of Music alumni, and he has run Seltzer Sound and Graphics, a full service music sound and graphics company, and he has done professional sound at area clubs and art centers, developed websites, taught music, set up venues and promotion, and has also worked as a DJ. And when I ask Kenny a little bit about his life uh, and how it intersects with his music, he told me that music is my meditation. I use it to center myself. Though I have a deep appreciation for my music and my songs, songs are just songs. They are not me. The map is not the territory. That said, music is a form of magic, and that is where it all is, so to speak, and how I see it. And one more thing, I am full of paradoxes. What I write now, I probably wouldn't write tomorrow in the same way. And when I asked for one of his most memorable moments, Kenny said, there's been quite a few, but I recently gave a performance where the room was present and all together, and we were in a proverbial flow together, and it was like communion, and that is what I love to be a part of. So with that, I welcome Kenny to come up stage here and to begin us in a communion with him in his performance of his original songs. Please give him a round, warm <laughs> hand. Applause for Kenny Seltzer, please. So uh, I'm still, uh, I'm, I've been playing for 50 years and I still get up on stage and go, what am I doing here? It's like strange. It's like, it's like a, so um, I do try to center myself with that. So here's a song I wrote. Um, a lot of these songs are really not um, necessarily bio biographical. They're fiction, nonfiction. People have asked me, are those songs about you? And I say, some of it is, some of it isn't. I take, I take uh, experiences uh, and I try to put them in, um, put them in song and words. Uh, I'm kind of self-taught with words. Um, uh, what, what do I want to say about that? Oh yeah, when I was when I was younger, I was I'd be reading a lot of um, things like uh, Nietzsche and Schopenhauer and R.D. Lang and all this stuff, and I was uh, I realized that the lofty thoughts are kind of like really strange. They really take you out of the moment. They really take you out of the moment. Me uh, talking about me. So I decided I'm not going to we get into this stuff anymore, and I'm going to write about my experience in the world and hopefully everybody else's. And um, and maybe in the song there's those metaphors of, uh, of uh, the loftier ideas. Like this one, the first one is called Love Fly Away. A friend of mine said it had a lot of Christian symbology in it, and uh, uh, that's for you to decide. I didn't think about it when I wrote it. Here's a song called I I'll Fly Away. I walked into the waters of the river today Looking for a way to cool myself down I held my head under as long as I could take Till I felt my chest burning And I felt my heart ache The sky was blue and everything was so still I heard no birds, no breeze Knowing nothing but my thoughts of you I held my head high as long as I could And suddenly I broke free And then I understood I want the wind to blow all my blues away I want the light to make colors out of gray 
I want to ride my thoughts clear up to the sky Turning dark into the day Then I'll fly away I remember the last time that I saw you I heard you, I heard your sweet voice You said you never wanted to hurt me You never, you never really had any choice I want the wind to blow all my blues away I want the light to make colors out of gray I want to ride my thoughts clear up to the sky Turning dark into the day I started playing when I was 13 years old. I was in a band when I was uh, six months later, and uh, I got into songwriting by default. I got, I fell into this uh, friend of mine after um, after my mother died and my marriage split up all at the same time. And, uh, I started, I bought the, bought this guitar and I started playing music again. Um, and uh, we, I met this woman, Jill Stein, and we uh, went out to the folk scene in the 90s and. Uh, uh, I started writing songs because that's what people did uh, in that scene. And before that, I was, just, I was a musician, which is totally different. You know, you play, uh, the music is really, the, I shouldn't say it's the focus, but it's a different orientation. So I've been learning over the past uh, 25 years uh, how to write songs. And uh, I kept on doing it because it's really hard to um, make a living in music. <laughs> so. Uh, I just kept on writing and writing and, and playing in front of people. And I keep on finding myself in front of people. It's really strange. Um, There's a song I wrote back in the early 90s uh, called Rock on Baby. I split up with um, someone and um, after a long relationship, and I wrote about 900 songs, as you usually do in that kind of thing. Only luckily for us, and luckily for me, only one or two survived. And this is, this is it. This is actually still my theme song called uh, Rock On Baby. Rock on baby, rock on, it never seems to 
like every time I turn around, I hurt you more, my friend. Definitely the way I feel about I'll keep on going until I can't do it anymore. All right, here's a song I wrote uh, last year. I just rediscovered it. That's when I need the lyrics. Um, I guess we can't uh, get away from what's going on in the world today. It seems like no matter what we do, it's always present. From um, the uh, Black, Black Lives Matter thing, everything. Um, Anyway, so I try to write a song like that, but I don't like to preach. I don't like to pros uh, proselytize. Is that the word? Yeah, and uh, it's really hard to write a song that's topical without sounding to me lame, you know? There's only a few people I know who can do it. So I try to bring the mi uh, micro into it, the, what I feel mm -hmm. that's going on with the world. Does that make sense? So here's a song called On a Ride. I, s I see we're kind of on a ride right now. So it's called On a Ride. Say goodbye to all the things you love Say goodbye to all the things you see Grab on tight to everything you hold so dear We're going on a ride and it don't look good See the pictures of all the things we hate Hear the sounds of it all about to break Listen to the stories of those who've gone away We're on a ride And it don't look good We're on a ride And it don't look good Come back from where you have been traveling It's been so long since I've held your hand The days and nights are feeling like they're closing in And what I hold in my hands 
turn to dust I need your breath on my face I need your eyes looking my way I want your heart beating in time with mine I need your embrace to stop the bleeding I'm tired of what I'm seeing It's so hard bearing all this trouble alone Listen to the cries of the people who are dying Hear the carrying calls of those who want them dead People around the world are dreaming of better days but We're on a ride and it don't look good We're on a ride and it don't look good Yeah Say goodbye to all the things you love Say goodbye to all the things you see Grab I'm tied to everything you hold so dear We're going on a ride And it don't look good Come back from where you have been traveling It's been so long since I've held your hand Days and nights are feeling like they're closing in And everything around me is breaking down I need your breath on my face I need your eyes looking my way I want your heart beating in time with mine I need your embrace to stop the bleeding I'm tired of what I'm seeing So hard bearing all this trouble alone We're on a ride and it don't look good we're on a ride, and it don't look good. We're on a ride. Ooh, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Thank you very much. I um. Where's that pick? Uh oh, it's gone. So um, the, the words in there, um, I, they don't, don't look good. I know some of you probably don't like that. I used to uh, be married to a woman whose father was an English professor, and grammar was. But I decided to leave it because I like dialect, and I like uh, it, it's more effective sometimes when you write something that's uh, a little off, you know? So this song. More song. Thanks for having me, Cheryl. Thank you. This song is another old one. And this is about um, not wanting to look back. It's very tempting to look back, isn't it? It's called Colors. Meet me in the morning Where the sun chases the moon out of the sky Meet me at the corner Where the dawn turns dreams into light I'm looking for some color I'm just looking for some colors In my life And I'm not going to about the days that have passed me by I had a daydream about you As I played my music today Saw how we walked and talked And exactly where we were that day the days 
should have passed me by I've seen so much these past few days That your eyes, your touch recede even in memory Looking back in black and white like we always do Won't help to bring back our history Meet me in the evening when the sky turns and covers everything we know. I'm looking for some color. I'm just looking for some colors in my life. And I'm not going to worry much about the days that have passed me by. And I'm not going to worry much about the days that have passed me by. And I'm not going to worry much about the days that have passed me by. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. They have a medical term for it now. It's called cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome. It's like a heart attack, the doctors say, the same tightness in the chest, the gasping for breath, but in cardiomyopathy, catecholamines flood your body, an adrenaline rush, like when you're running from a bear or, or chasing after a bus. Your heart starts pounding, a homegrown river of epinephrine sweating from your adrenal medulla as you obsess over all the words you could have said when she took you in her arms and grew soft souvenirs. It's hard to take a breath now. Your catecholamines vasoconstricting your systemic arteries and you're hyperventilating on her everyday words, how she swore you were the love of her life, then dumped you because you don't like the distances between people in her home state of Southern California. And she begged you to say anything, but you, you trashed her favorite store, the one she calls Target, making it sound French, because the French understand the nuances of love and retail marketing, as in French fries and French wine and French kisses. Je t'aime, your heart stutters, stimulating your post-junctual beta-2 interceptors, but you're thinking, sinto amor, yo soy nada, because you don't know much French, only Spanish. But hey, this is Southern California, which used to be Mexico, formerly owned by Spain, which is the country next to France, so it's OK. <laughs> and you're remembering that moment, coming back in the back of the bus, coming home from the Hollywood Bowl. Her head pressed into your shoulder like a little sparrow, and your index finger playing with a small pink rose on her left sleeve. Voices swirl around you like strawberries, and you don't hear a thing as you both try to reconstruct the lyrics to that last song the orchestra played. Il est entré dans mon coeur, une part de bonheur, 
dont je connais la cause. They say limerence is the technical term for being in love. Doctors at Johns Hopkins are wondering why older women are more susceptible to cardiomyopathy, that state where limerence is lost, like the last trace of a catecholamine's venal descent. I could tell them the answer. When you press me to your heart, I'm in a world apart, a world where roses bloom. I could tell them the answer. But that would be like explaining the meaning to the word home, or why limerence demands her uninflected breath curling around you like a black bear in heat, or like the wheels of a receding bus. Peach and pear.